Hello? General, how are you? Oh, fine. General, I just wanted to bring you up to date on this uh, matter because I know of your concern about it. We got uh, Friday night, got a message from uh, Khrushchev, which uh, said that uh, he would uh, withdraw these missiles and technicians and so on, providing we did not plan to invade Cuba. We uh, then got a message, uh, that public one, the next morning, in which he said he would do that if we withdrew our missiles from Turkey. We uh, then, as you know, uh, issued a statement that uh, we couldn't get into that deal. So uh, we then got this message this morning. So we now uh, have to wait to see how it unfolds, and there's a good deal of complexities to it. Uh, if the, uh, the withdrawal of these missiles, technicians, and the cessation of uh, subversive activity by them, well, we just have to set up satisfactory procedures to determine whether these actions will be carried out. So I would think that uh, if we can do that, we'll be uh, find our interests advanced, even though it may be only one more chapter in a rather long story as far as Cuba is concerned. Of course, but, uh, Mr. President, did he, uh, does he put any conditions on whatsoever in that? No, except uh, that uh, we're not going to invade Cuba. Yeah. That's the only one we've got uh, now. But we don't plan to invade Cuba under these conditions anyway. No. So if we can get them out, we're better off by yeah, far. That's, that's correct. I, I quite agree. I just uh, wondered whether he was trying to, uh, knowing we would keep our word, whether he would try to uh, engage us in any kind of statements or commitments that would finally one day could be... Uh, very uh, embarrassing. Listen, suppose they got in, suppose they started to, uh, to uh, bombard the Guantanamo. Right. Uh, what I, I'm getting at, I quite agree this is a very uh, uh, conciliatory move. Right. Oh, well, I agree. Oh, yeah, that's right. I think what we've got to do is keep, that's why I don't think the Cuban story can be over yet. Uh, I think we will retain sufficient freedom to protect our interests. If he, if he, uh, if he, uh, if they engage in subversion, if they uh, attempt to do any aggressive acts and so on, then all bets are off. In addition, my guess is that uh, by the end of next month, we're going to be toe to toe in Berlin anyway. So that uh, I think this is uh, important uh, for the for the time being because it uh, requires quite a step down for really for Khrushchev. On the other hand. I think that, uh, as we all know, they're, they just uh, probe and uh, their w words unreliable, so we just have to stay uh, busy on it. Um, as, as I've uh, observed before, uh, there's one thing about it. They, these people do not equate, and I think it's been a mistake to equate uh, Berlin with Cuba or anything else. Uh, they take any spot in the world, they don't care where it is. That's right. And, they, and it's just a question is, are you in such a place you either can't or won't resist. That's right. For yeah. example, we got into Tibet. Nothing to do with Tibet. Yeah. Up that mountainous country, and we couldn't even reach it. Right. And so, uh, well, what we could do then is subvert itself, that's all. Right, right. Now, uh, so they get to, and they probe, when, it, when you can't do anything, then if they get another place where they think that uh, you just won't for some reason or other, yeah. why then they go ahead. That's so right. I, I think you're doing exactly right. Right. Go ahead, but uh, just... Uh, let them know that you won't be the aggressor, and but if the other if then you've always got the right to That's determine right. whether the other guy's been the aggressor. Well, we'll stay right at it, and I'll keep in touch with you, General. Thank you very much, Mr. Okay, thank you.